This will hurt! I will guide. We'll win this, one way or the other. You're done for! This is my path. We got a wounded fighter. Can we get a healer over here? My, my, would you look at this? But why would you drag a wounded fighter into the middle of the festival square? Couldn't he be carted off somewhere else like, oh, I don't know, an infirmary or an accommodating ditch? Make room, everyone. Step back. Now, what's the matter? What happened to him? The wound looks nasty. Who did this to him? Demons, prelate. We found him barely alive outside the walls of Canabris. The walls, you say? Enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. Must fortify the defenses. And you, hold fast. Don't die. We'll see you right. We'll get you patched up now. But first, you there, guard. Take his weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. Wounded or not, everyone must abide by the rules. He can get his things back after the festival. <laughs> oh, inheritor, leader of our troops, the sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor. Iomade, I beseech you, grant your mercy. Heal his wounds. Hear, hear! That's the Crusader spirit. My powers are not enough here. Someone call for Terendelev. You there. Yes, you. Stop dithering and gawping and make yourself useful. Go and get Terendelev. Prelate, surely there is somebody else here better suited to running errands. <laughs> I'll get her. Terendelev. Has anyone seen Terendelev? Be quick about it before it's too late. Now, who are you? I don't remember seeing you before. And I have an excellent memory for faces. Is that so? What street do you live on? What do you do for a living? You don't look like a local. My dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, stop interrogating this poor man. He has been through enough already. Go on. I'll take care of him. <laughs> All right, as you wish. You are our protector, and a dragon at that. So I shall defer to your wisdom, but be on your guard. I've been informed he was wounded near Canabras. That means the demons are prowling just outside the walls, and the city is crawling with their spawns. Others may be able to relax on this holiday, but not you or I. Not the defenders of this city. 
pry loose the grudging grip of pain. Cast off the veil of suffering flesh. Let light and life go forth in triumph to repel the skulking shade of death. There. I accept your thanks, but my work is not yet done. My name is Terendelev. I am the protector of the city. I do not know yet, and that troubles me. I am not entirely sure what the demons did to you. This wound is no ordinary injury, and it was inflicted by no ordinary weapon. I have rid you of your pain and restored your strength, but only time will allow you to heal fully. You don't believe me? Perhaps I should retake my true form and engulf this square with my ice breath to win your trust. <laughs> Pay no mind to my current guise. I appear this way when I walk among the people. I would hamper the festivities if I tried to attend in my true form. Certainly, but be careful. I have managed to get you back on your feet, but I have not healed you fully. Alas, sooner or later, your pain will return. But do not be discouraged. You will recover, I promise you that. Tomorrow, come to the cathedral and say that you are expected by Terendelev, protector of Canabras. We will find a way to help you. But for now, put this out of your mind and enjoy the festival. They are all too rare in this time of war, and merriment is one of the best medicines. Inside the walls and brought you inside to be healed. I see they patched you up. Good thing they did it before the attack, or else you'd have been done for. You must have got a good drubbing around the head, brother. Tiscari's a demon lord, the most fearsome enemy of all crusaders and all living things, come to think of it. Right away. Stand still now. No fidgeting while I cast this on you. Good luck! Try not to get eaten now! Take that, Buckhead! 
A mortal man snaps its jaws at the Lord of Locusts. Behold, Iomade. Behold the death I saw. Silver dragon Terendelev, the defender of Canabras, fell in battle. Hardly surprising, as she had to fight the demon lord Discari himself. He willed the land to part and swallow all who dared to stand in his way. But the war was still far from over. Lucky, you fell down into a black hole. But at least you're not on your own. You've got a great companion. Everything's going to be just fine. Tell me something. Can you feel your legs? I feel them all right. One say no to a little less feeling in them. My ankle's killing me. But my back seems to still be in one piece. My head, too. That's all that matters. Now, we're going to... Hey! Fancy meeting you down here. You're the one that Terendalev healed today, right? You aren't injured, are you? Will you help me get her out from under the boulders? Ah, damn it all. I think it's broken. Oh well, I've had worse. I'll just make myself a splint out of something. Thanks for the help. I wouldn't have lasted long on my own stuck under there. I'm Anevia Tiravade, of the Eagle Watch. I was overseeing security at the Festival Square. I thought maybe spies or demon worshippers might have something nasty planned. What actually happened, though? Now that, I did not see coming. I don't think anyone could have been prepared for that. Well, I'm Sila. Paladin by the grace of Iomade, I crossed the whole continent to come to Mendeb and fight demons. And well, I've been fighting for a while now. I don't even want to think what might be happening up there in the city. Canabres has lost the protection of Terendelev, and of the Wardstone too, looks like. It's a relic without equal. It was placed here personally by Iomade's herald, with the goddess's blessing. I really wanted to go see it to pray before it. But there's no point worrying about a stone when there are people dying in the streets. Yeah, things are looking grim enough, but don't lose heart. Wardstone or no, dragon or no, Canabras will never give in. Simple as. Well, we've introduced ourselves. What about you? A fellow crusader! <laughs> Welcome, brother. This is great. I would have been happy to have any companion in this, but it's nice to be stuck down here with somebody who's my kind of crazy. It's a good thing you've still got your faith. Because right now, to be totally honest, faith's probably the only thing we do have. Uh, now then, I'll hobble my way out of here somehow. The city ain't far, only 30 paces or so. That's if you're going straight up, of course. I'm afraid we're gonna have to go the long way round. To summarize, there are three of us, with five working legs, three pairs of decent hands, two clear heads, and one made of wood. <laughs> That's mine. Underground monsters beware! <laughs> Anevia, you stay behind us. You're in no fit state to fight. If we do come up against anything, the two of us will try to manage on our own first. Well, onward! May the good deities lead us back to the open sky soon.
fell down here during the attack. I'm Sila, that's Anevia, and this is our new friend. We're looking for a way back to the surface. Really? I'm so ever glad to hear it. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Camellia. I was also in the square when... when... I can scarcely believe it. How did all those demons get into the city? I thought, naively it now seems, that the Wardstone protected us from attack. And Terendalev, I can't wrap my head around it. That's right. It would be the height of foolishness to survive a demon attack only to perish under a pile of rubble. Are you coming with us then? The more the merrier, and that blade of yours is nothing to sniff at. Certainly. Survivors should stick together. It's only sensible. Who knows what else could be prowling about in these caves? Let's see if this poor bloke has anything useful on him. Not to sound like a heartless brigand or nothing, but we kinda need all the supplies we can get right now. I heed the voice of the spirits. Magritium Turinos! I'll watch your back. It should work. Is it flawed? break against our resolve. Save the last one for we me. We won't falter. against our resolve. That's how you hit them! No, I can't just walk away. It's got to be here somewhere. When do I? Lan, did you find it? Who is that? The do-gooders here to save our mongrel souls, no doubt. Wait, they might know what's going on up there. That's none of your bit. We're looking for a holy sword. It was here, in the center, sticking out of a rock. The sooner we find it, the better. Some kids from our tribe took off for the shield maze. They figured it had collapsed, and now it's their time to go up to the surface, like all the legends foretold. Except they don't have a clue what's waiting for them up there. They're not fighters. And Sol, the chief of our tribe, is dead set against it. He says that now isn't the time for the underground crusaders to take up arms. If we get the Holy Sword, we might be able to change the chief's mind. It's a fool's errand. None of us will be able to hold the sword, let alone use it to save anyone. It's not an ordinary weapon. It's made from righteous heavenly flame, and will burn anyone who touches it. Do you think you're special, Lan? I'll pick it up with my teeth and tie it to my hand if I have to. It doesn't matter. 
An angel's sword and a troop of stalwart mongrels will be able to work a minor miracle. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, you're still here, Wendu, which means that deep down, you know it's possible. Thanks. An extra pair of eyes can only help. The sword will be easy enough to spot. It looks, uh, swordy. Help us, and in return, we'll get you out of here. <laughs> now we're talking. Let's get to work. It's a good thing we all bumped into each other, isn't it? What? You want to find the sword quickly, so the underground monsters bring you back to the surface. So be it. Hey, are you all right? You were kind of glowing just now. That, that was it. The light of heaven, but how? What did you do with it? Where did it go? L'Oreal? That really was L'Oreal? The angel from the legends. The ancestors even got his name right on the gravestone. The chief will be thrilled. You. Thousands of gongs, and no one's been able to touch it. And now you, an ordinary creature of flesh and blood no different to us, get the sword and start talking about visions. Now, now, Wentuag, don't be a sore loser. He is clearly different from us. The sword appeared before him, along with the angel's name and all that other stuff because he doesn't carry our mongrel taint. Heaven doesn't give a damn how special we are. We're born with evil inside us. Heaven doesn't need to know any more than that. I know you're willing to tear anyone apart to uphold our people's honor, but you insult, you just refuse to face the truth. We are the way we are because our ancestors' bodies were corrupted by the abyss. It does the same thing to plants and animals. There's nothing heroic or special about it. It doesn't make us better, and it doesn't make us worthier. That is just... Wow, I mean, that's amazing! Heaven has truly blessed you. This power is the most majestic thing I've ever seen in all my life. Is this what the sun is like, Lan? Yes, it's similar. But this light is more... golden? Chief Sol needs to see this. Now that we have the power of angels on our side, he can't say no. He'll have to assemble a troop to storm the maze. You Uplanders care about your kids, right? Help us save ours. Without them, we won't survive. And then... The perils of the maze won't be so bad if we go together. We'll make our way through it and find the way to Canabras. Let's go. We'll take the short route. Well, the only route, really. Can't hide from me. What do we have here? This 
one was beyond me. The mongrel did it. I'll cut Do you not wide leave. open. Do not leave her. Let us be off. Thanks, Lan. You're so awesome, Lan. No, that's for me. Check that out. Let's move! The spirits demand they your will blood! Break against our resolve! What's that? Let me draw the first blood.
Follow me. Do not fear. Do not waver. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. I hope you appreciate this. Save the last one for me. This time. I am helpful, am I not? Check that out. I am helpful, am I not? Now what is that? Yet another obstacle. You won't survive me. The world in crimson! March on. I hope you appreciate this. Onwards. I'll cut you wide Did open. Did we find trouble? No. Bait it.
helpful, am I not? I am helpful, am I not? Something? Did we step on their toes as well? Another obstacle. The spirits demand your blood. Can't hide from me. I hope you appreciate this. Let's move. Quickens. Follow me. You are to Did we find trouble? No, they did. I am 
helpful, am I not? March on. The we are the light. They are the darkness. <laughs> I hope you appreciate this. Check that out. Onwards. Aha! Am I not? Make Three every step right count as well. <laughs> yeah! I'm wounded.
let us be off. I am helpful, am I not? We won't fall. They will break against our resolve. I hope you appreciate this. Let's move! Follow me. Make my own legend. Into the do not fear, do not waver. You can trust me. The spirits guide me. Your discretion.
what is that? Let us be off. We cannot be defeated! Let's move. one for me. Don't give up. me off and it's not exactly unexpected what else are we supposed to do with you you're not just a traitor you're a monster the young ones believed you and you lured them to a demon and watched them eat human flesh I was trying to make them strong what have you done for them what were you doing while I was looking for ways to bring strength to our tribe you're useless, Lan. I led by example. I trained. I tried to become stronger so I could go to the surface and maybe do something worthwhile with my stupidly short life. And I will do it. 
I might be the one to bring our whole tribe to the surface. But you? Why would you want any power that turns you into a monster? These young guys and girls, they trusted you. And they were turned into mindless animals, ready to eat corpses at a demon's command. I went through the same ritual as them, and I didn't become an animal. I conquered my anger. The anger that has been building and building in every one of us for decades. Unlike you, I have no intention of just lying down and politely accepting death. I will rise above all this, while you'll still be stuck with your pride chewing on rats. Better to serve a strong master than to eke out an existence in a dark hole with no hope. I am of the Neethers. Our lives are short, but we are hardier than humans. I realized a long time ago that I was capable of more than this life offered. And I follow whomever is the strongest. I thought you were better than that. I thought you were proud of your heritage, but you're willing to crawl on your belly before anyone who's even a little bit stronger than you. You're not a mongrel. You're a cave slug. You have no understanding of the meaning of family or tribe. <laughs> oh, so now you think you know everything about me. You're one of the best hunters in the tribe. It benefited me to ingratiate myself with you. So I acted in a way that pleased you. You're all bark and no bite. Farewell, Uplander. Next time I won't spare you. gone. But next time, she won't get away. Damn it, Wendu. Why'd you have to go and... <sighs> anyway, there's no point crying over spilt milk. Uh, give me a couple of minutes. I'll bring the chief and the rest. I need to clear my head. Thank you. 